Tourists are out of control and major problem nowadays. If you already bought your tickets to Japan to see the cherry blossoms, well, you might as well kiss them goodbye. Hey travelers, welcome back to Her Travel Diary, where I show you beautiful destinations, useful tips, and best things to do. I'm Ify Explorers, and if you want a stress free trip, look no further because I've traveled across the world so you can get the best out of your vacation. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at Miffy Explorers. Today I'm going to explain to you why Kyoto is banning tourists starting in April 2024. Imagine the horror of booking your trip to Japan and dreaming of visiting Kyoto that all of a sudden you're banned. What would you do in this situation? Well, don't panic because you're not completely banned from Kyoto. Rumors have been said that there have been cases of stalking, unwanted touching, chasing, and even taking photos without permission. But this is not a rumor, and these misbehaviors are actually true reports coming from the geishas themselves. And now tourists and people who never visited Japan will face the consequences. This isn't the end of the world, but some people may be bummed out. Kyoto is considered the birthplace of geisha culture and even act as a home to the geisha. This beautiful Japanese city has plenty more to offer though. It has beautiful temples, shrines, matcha, and it's full of culture. The Jion district where tourists seem to be causing major problems is full of upscale Japanese restaurants, boutiques, and alleyways. Some people may wonder, what is a geisha? Well, geishas perform at tea houses for their guests, such as doing traditional music, games, and even dance. They have an elegant role in society and act as a female entertainer. News reports have said that the travelers that are planning to visit Japan or Kyoto in general will not have access to private alleyways or where the geishas are getting ready. Many foreigners may be against this and may question why they can no longer photograph in certain places. Others, on the other hand, are very pleased that this is going into effect. This will allow privacy and respect to the geisha. After all, Kyoto isn't a theme park. You always have to remember that they are people too, and these issues can cause the geishas to be uncomfortable and interfere with their work. Geisha being harassed has actually been a recurring problem from the past. No photography signs were actually first placed up in 2019, and now, Things are even getting worse as tourism is booming. These changes being implemented in one of the most popular destinations is just a reminder that whenever you visit another country, to always be respectful of their local laws and have manners knowing that you are a visitor. Tourism is on the rise, and Japan is expecting about 31 million new visitors this year as it remains one of the most appealing destinations in the world. Even if you're not able to see or photograph a geisha on your next trip to Japan, don't be too sad because you can still have a wonderful trip and learn a lot about their culture. Some people may wonder what the consequences are if you disobey the laws. So far, for photography in certain places, it is not allowed, and you will get fined 10,000 yen which can be around 65 USD. That may not seem like a lot to some, but we still want to be respectful of the places and residents we are visiting. The rules are actually getting a lot stricter now, where tourists and certain people are banned in certain alleyways. Massive groups of people and even tour groups used to walk through these alleys hoping to spot a geisha. If you're wondering how long this has been going on, geisha being harassed has actually been a reoccurring problem from the past. 
as no photography signs were first placed in 2019. As you can see, this puts them in a very uncomfortable situation. It's up to us foreigners to take control of our actions when we visit other countries. It would be so unfortunate if we lose the privilege to visit these beautiful cities. When I visited Japan back in September 2023, I actually saw no geisha too. But I think it was because I went late at night. Regardless of seeing one or not, I still had an amazing trip to Japan. Next time you're in Kyoto, here are three other things you can do besides chase down the geishas. Number one, visit the Nishiki Market. Here you'll be able to find all things such as local delicacies, fresh and preserved foods, traditional Japanese sweets, and even some souvenirs to take home. Number two, visit the Yasaka Shrine. This place is absolutely beautiful at night. After you're done with this, you can do some shopping or even walk around the city. Keep in mind that shops in Kyoto close a lot earlier. Last but not least, number three. Visit the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. There are so many things to do here, so be sure to have a full day planned out for this. Rent a kimono as you take a stroll through the bamboo forest. Then make your way over to the monkey park after you change. Unless you want to be a bit uncomfortable hiking up a hill. These are just some of the things you can do in Kyoto. Today I covered everything you need to know about the new laws in Kyoto, some interesting facts about geishas, Kyoto, and I gave you some activities you can do for your next trip to Japan. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts about the new laws in Kyoto, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, I'm Ify Explorers, your travel BFF, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Miffy Explorers for more travel destinations and tips. Okay, bye!